and we're going. We're talking about orcs this week. How are we doing, folks? Pretty fucking good, man. How are you? <laughs> Finally got Mario to stop cursing in the first five seconds of it, then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I look naturally like Mario, but watch this. Hold on. Close your eyes. <gasps> whoa, whoa, shoot. What the I'm fuck? actually still wearing a poncho. Sorry to what confuse What the hell? Oh, whoa, whoa. That whoa. was crazy. Jeez, I, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought you just had a Mario filter on you, man. I, I didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> that could tell the That's difference. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Perdón, Don Logan. <laughs> your, your sombrero, it fell out. So orcs, the uh, Hungarian warpath criminals who just live on the, the fray of other cultures, right? Mm -hmm. You guys in love with them? Are they your favorite? I like them. I think they're cool. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Uh, we got to mm -hmm. ask the expert. Are they Mexican? Yes or no, Mario? <laughs> <laughs> Those new ones definitely fucking are. Fucking, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I would say, I think, I think they're fun. They, they fit like a good, like, you know, there is, there's a good use for them in the sense of like, uh. They're easy to kind of throw in as those, like, you know, they're believable enemies on the road more in the sense of, like, they're these these nomadic kind of people mm. of, it's, it doesn't even have to be, like, outright, if we want to, like, touch on that of, like, fucking, like, it's not like they're outright evil, it's just, like, even, even with normal people, it's, like, you could just, it, they're, they're interchangeable amongst just having, like, suddenly a barbaric, like a group of humans just fucking ransack your place kind of shit mm -hmm. yeah. um yeah. it's uh they're they're cool i i think they're neat i like their very like warish kind of culture um the way i've always seen them because in all of their entries and their in-world history they mm -hmm. are heavily heavily inspired by the crusades Mm. Crusaders who are on this massive religious journey to conquer continuously Ooh, and breed yeah. soldiers and just keep going on this warpath where the Holy Land is the next village you have to take over. Because mm. if we want to so, touch on that, there's like mm. Groomsh too, and the whole like, uh, if we want to look at like the Forgotten Realms idea, yeah, there's like that thing of like, oh, the idea behind orcs and their origin is like Groomsh, I, I like. This is me barely remembering shit, but I feel like there was this idea of like, oh, when the when the when like things were being divvied out for like where everything was gonna be, the idea was that Groomsh got fucked over and yeah, in uh, the 80s. It yeah it's like in any land or territory yeah. mm -hmm. had no state. And Coral and so it's shanked like, out his eye, so he hates elves now. <laughs> yeah, and it's like this whole thing of that too. And that's but it's like this whole thing of just like Groomsh's whole ideal is like, all right, then fuck all of you. My kids, you know what they're going to do? They're going to fuck your kids up. They're going to kick their ass, and they're going to take everything. You know why? Because they fucking deserve something, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> really good way of looking at them. I just, yeah. I like that idea because like a lot less chaotic a version of the Knolls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well Knolls, they stem from the Abyss, which is uh -huh. essentially the warped heart of the dead god of chaos mm -hmm. this is just a god of of war he's just yeah. doing his thing Poor making god. his kids kind of yeah i'll just and, think of more yeah. idea but yeah, cause normally i try and like um when it comes to like the fantasy lore of it usually i try and do my own thing with the gods and stuff but it's really hard to do that for orcs because nearly every variant of the orcs especially the volos ones are somewhat tied to which deity they represent like yeah. They're so they're so religious in the Forgotten Realms. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. kind of a slight. We have other cultures and races for that. Like you want to. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which yeah. is like, like the following entry. I think I think that is like the that that is my gripe sometimes with orcs where it's like it, it kind of makes me think of Dragonlance and the reason why Dragonlance doesn't have orcs is because the idea was like, well, we got ogres and we got minotaur. I don't know why we need orcs. It, um, you know, that's fair, because really it feels like, especially if orcs, like, if you're going to go with, 
them just base you pretty much got to go with like introducing the forgotten realms elements of it because if you're going <laughs> unless you yeah. just really heavily homebrew it because even like i see the um the orc with the massive nails i'm like ooh, cool just fancy slashing it orc wait that's a priestess yeah. wait what i just to keep reading oh yeah 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 so i learned this and then forgot it a long time ago and just looked it up now but uh orcs are specifically from middle earth they were yeah, yeah. invented in Lord of the Rings. Yes. And they were interchangeable with Goblin. You know, you have the mm-hmm. uruk mm-hmm. and then the Lesser. But yeah. uh, Especially when you look at, like, the Franken-Bass ones where the orcs were a lot kind of smaller and just kind of little... You know. they, yeah, they were a little Goblin-esque. Yeah. And then there's, like, the weaker orcs in that hierarchy if you've played uh, Shadow of War. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Kind of like the, the loser guys. I like that, and it makes sense that they're just more organized versions of goblins who are bigger mm-hmm. and bred for war. They're like the Spartans of goblins. Mm-hmm. But this Which is a whole like, offshoot. That's, that's, that's always like the thing where it's just like, it kind of sucks because it's like a thing of they work like that pretty well mm-hmm. but it's also, well you also have hobgoblins that also fill that niche too where it's just like a, Yeah, that's just crossed wires. Yeah, I mean, it's... Th- it's just when they're you have so many is. influences you're taking of, something's going to cross a little bit. But if we're going to go with, like, Tolkien, obviously I'm not a Tolkien historian, but generally my understanding yeah. of it was elves represent what's beautiful and natural in the world, nature, and orcs are supposed to be antithesis of that. They hate, uh, they're meant to kill nature and destroy it just because they are just ancient, yeah. corrupted elves. Mm. That might be it. I don't know. I so. Yeah, he yeah, I'm, I'm probably also touched on that in a... In a sort of demons and angels kind of angle. Can we phone in a friend, Jacob, real quick? I'm sure he can yell at <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, uh... Yeah, for me, like, I, I've tried doing different things with orcs because I, I want to have, like... I like having something special with a lot of the, the different things that get introduced. And I like orcs, so I try to have something with them. Like, if anything... My, like, in my setting, my idea of where orcs come from is just, uh, you know, if orcs are meant to be, like, these kind of more, like, brutish, aggressive kind of dudes, it's this idea of, like, uh, oh, in my setting, orcs are a product of, basically, drow fucking around with demons, and basically having, like, a Nalfish knee or something like that, making offspring with a with a drow or something, and basically the offspring turn into, like, these big piggy fucking, like, massive dudes, and it's just, like, this thing of, like, oh, we use them for fucking... Wait, wait. We... Mm-hmm. A yeah, yeah. and a drow? <laughs> yeah, Nalfish knee, yeah, 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 that, that was my idea. It's, like, it's like his trade offer. Because have you seen, have you seen, um... Drow have uh do you know what the Glabberzoo are? Glabberzoo, yes. Let me Google that one. I know yeah. now for she just because they're the huge pig ones, they're, and I'm like, that they're, was with us. Are the Glabberzoo the ones with the crab arms? Crab right yeah, there. they're the big crab arm yeah. fuckers. They're also huge, but they basically also make offspring with Drow, and there's a specific stat block of one of the enemies that's like a a Drow Glabberzoo offspring yeah. where it's like a. Is it, you know, know. Are. How do you re- pronounce that? Ah, uh, Glabrizu here. I could type it. Oh yeah, uh, look up what Matt Mercer says. It's in uh, D&D Beyond. Oh, there it is. I'm not even There's sure. Because <laughs> there's um, pronunciations that I found recently in like Baldur's Gate. I didn't know Bator was called Beator. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Mm-hmm. Some of the I I hate D and D pronunciations yeah. because I think there was. This is a tangent, but there, there's like I, I think one of the big ones that I got stuck on was fucking uh, uh, Sahuagin or Sah- Sahagin or whatever. Sahuagin, Sahuagin or whatever. Because even on D and D Beyond, I looked it's it up different. and I was like, it's fucking different on the different fucking stat blocks. Yeah. And because yeah. I listened to one and I was like, oh, it's Sahuagin. Yeah, I, I was right. And then someone's like, no, it's Sahuagin. And I, and I'm like, I, I just heard it right here. It's the fucking, and it's like, oh, I'm looking at the Baron. The base Sahuagin has like Fuck a different off. pronunciation. And both of them is the both of them are like fucking uh, done by Matt Mercer, which is hilarious to me. Are they not given direction? I don't I don't know. Maybe not. I don't Listen. know. But it's like it's like fucking dude, uh 
it, even in Baldur's Gate, there's like a funny joke of there's three fishermen because they keep mm-hmm. saying the a specific name for it. I forget which one they landed on, but there's Stop a point where they're like, I yeah, they're like, oh, that. I saw Sahuagin coming out, and then like someone goes, it's Sahuagin, or they're like Sahuagin or some shit, and like someone goes, no, no, I'm pretty sure it's. So and, like it's like this yeah, like three just bickering they're fucking shark people. Yeah, yeah. Shark people. and like they're they're kind of kill, man. And the, thing, the thing that kills me is I looked up a fucking video because I like even before Baldur's Gate I looked up some video and there was uh, I think like the daughter of the guy that initially made that and in the end what she basically said was just like oh yeah he was kind of bad at like like uh pronouncing stuff sometimes so he just always pronounced it different and i was like mm, okay yeah. so it's just like it. <laughs> it's just like the gif supposed to be said gif i don't care i would never <laughs> not call it a gif it's the same with yeah. i am pretty sure i pronounce ozomar and artifice are wrong i don't care ozomar it's ozomar okay. to me i am I not saying asimar as- as- I'm not Asimar? saying artificer. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm not saying artificer. I always say artificer. Uh, I say artificer. I say artificer. XP to level three. We're calling you out. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is That's like calling a necromancer a necromancer. Eat shit. They're not necromancers. Necromancers. Um, All right. I say I say Sahuagin, Azamar, artificer. <laughs> We're just going to Sahuagin. list off every every hill we're going to die on when aim wise cover the rest of the episode. Sahuagin um, is the official pronunciation from uh, the 1985 comic release Dragon. I call him Shogun, so I'm very wrong. Shogun? That's not even okay. Wait, we're on a just we're a on bunch a, of dudes Asmodeus. named Sean living in the water. <laughs> it's, it's Asmodeus. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sean better now, because I like to imagine just a bunch of Sean pins just under the uh, under the water coming for me. I fucking, I fucking, I I remember watching the outtakes from the narrator from Baldur's Gate, and she goes on like this whole tangent where she's just like trying to pronounce something. She goes, "I'm sure nobody will be upset about how I pronounce this." <laughs> Little do you know. No, they were taking the piss out of it. They're like, okay. oh, I'm sure these guys don't care about the pronunciation of these things. And it's like, <laughs> clearly they do. They're, it's it's like, am... like, she knows. She knows. It's just like, uh, fuck it. I guarantee it's... there is someone in the comments section who said, hi, I've been playing since AD&D, and that's actually <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Gary Gygax <laughs> said one time he would slap me if I didn't per- uh, say everyone that did it. I was actually good friends with Gary Gygax. I got a handful of for that guy. <laughs> Anyways, orcs. Uh, yeah, my my whole idea I was, was about just orc. that was a real. Orc. <laughs> uh, my whole idea with him was just to uh, I had them be like offspring of Nalfishnia. Yeah, actually, it's a really like, unique idea. I do like it. I'm sorry, I derailed that. So <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, it, like the idea was know, just... uh, Nalfishnia is basically a big winged pig guy yeah. with a mace. Fat ass pig with like just huge little, juicy, like, you know. I I had I had the players meet like uh, <laughs> in the campaign. There's like a point where like uh the I guess like the matron draw woman. She talked to the party. She's like kind of creepy, but like she has like this big fucking nalfish knee that's following her around, and it's like this like it's this big fat dude. And I would just say like yeah, you just see him like fly up, and you just hear. As you see, like the little wings just like flapping, <laughs> it's like clearly, clearly doesn't look right. But it's <laughs> the, the beautiful, uh, the beautiful um, uh, Twitch streamer, Discord mod boyfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking, the fucking, <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. the little fucking, fat, the fat pig guy, just like, oh, you're my my sweet precious. <laughs> <laughs> I have these subs for you. My like, sweet little <laughs> underground princess. My Please. sweet, my sweet little, my sweet little darling. I have many Please subs. take my electrum coins. <laughs> I saved all day for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my idea was just like the they were just more made for uh, like they would probably want guards or people to work manual labor for them or some shit. So they just have like these, these big fucking like, 
I guess, uh, to them, like, super soldiers or some shit. Um, workforce yeah, just, type. Just knowing their inspiration, they're naturally a very one-beat creature. They're yeah. made for war, so yeah. they, they pave the war path. Like, that's yeah, yeah. never something yeah. that anyone needs. It's not something that demands context outside of resources, which is the mm. infinite battle that this planet is made of. So... They are kind of one of the... They're not evil, but they're one no. of those things where it's just yeah. like, yeah, this happens in the world. Like, people yeah. are fighting. Yeah. And I like... it's good to stomp it out when it gets a little too big. The reason I like orcs is because they're easy to throw in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't you can have them on any it. scale, too. You can have them be a small uh, bandit camp or the basic barbarians that you find in, like, civilization. They're just these outposts that endure and wait for you to try... And then they wipe you out. So that that's kind of scary. That's fun. And then you yeah. can build it up to these angles where, oh, there is not just a town of orcs, so to speak. There is a city. Uh -huh. There's a coalition of different types uh -huh. of orcs. Like, maybe this group is part human and this group is part elf or part, like, yeah. halfling. I don't think I've ever seen art of a halfling half-orc, but I would love that. Just like Mini Hulk. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. Um, you get a, you get, it looks like one of work. the Borderlands, just like jacked little guys. <laughs> yeah, I hate those guys. Like the <laughs> tiny Minecraft zombies. They're just too fast and too strong. Yeah. Well, like, because I think the nice thing, at the very least, like, because how I've kind of used some of these guys, too, has been, like, um, a, so, certain enemies that end up filling that same niche are just ones that you'll encounter in certain areas, but they'll have, like, their own, like, little quirks to them, where it's yeah, like, oh, uh, yeah, it's like, my my player is dealing with goblins a lot at the at the start. It's like a thing where it's just like, oh, they're, they're, like, you know, you'll have goblin encounters in these early areas, and then it's like, when you go, when they're, like, further away from that, they have, like, other enemies that are more prominent, and now that they're in the Underdark, my idea with orcs becomes a thing where it's like, oh, there are probably just roaming orcs that have broken free from the drow. And it's and it's just out of like, oh, yeah, we made a bunch of like fucking super soldiers. And it's just like, they're real pissed. They don't really like us. <laughs> and they, they broke free. So like, you know, they're just out there now, like roaming around in these in these like Underdark passages. So they're also like a potential threat of just like, oh, they stumble across the party. They'll they'll want to take your shit because it's just like who the fuck yeah. are you it's the and obviously kind of the the with, with well, the yeah guys. and uh, and which has also been like a funny thing because uh, some of the goblinoid people that the party has dealt with followed them down there and uh there's like a thing where some of the underdark citizens are seeing goblinoids and they don't know what the fuck they are <laughs> it's just like like it was like a a funny interaction of like oh you don't you don't know what those things are and it's like no and there's like well how many of them did you see and they're like too many i don't know they, they're like hiding in places and shit i don't like them <laughs> and on that day racism was invented in your world <laughs> they're using gorilla tactics good all right do, uh, do, 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 i know me do. what i really got going on from right now is just in a point of the story they're at is I tried to go with a civilization that really didn't acclimate and kind of stayed nomadic and tried to think, all right, what great improvements would they really made? What defines them? And one thing I did is generally they're kind of sought after for being some of the best navigators in my setting. Ooh, since, they okay. didn't, since they didn't adopt any modern standards, they didn't really adopt um, a modern just kind of like navigation way. So they fully just studied the sky and stars until they pretty much mastered it completely. That's sick. I love. I like. That. I don't. I don't like calling technology like that primitive. Maybe archaic is the right word. Yeah, but archaic like old, is old more stuff that's not out. That's not outdated. Like <laughs> stuff that um, we there's no effective basically. replacement for. Like it's always relevant. But it's these <laughs> old practices that I think orcs because they kind of have this old world mentality in their general design. They would fit stuff like that really cool. So I. I don't know. That's well, a like, really cool idea. Like, glad I like that. I took mm -hmm. a lot of the ideas I actually have for Lusk in a, de a desert campaign and kind of fit, um, um, retrofitted it for that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So that's the main thing I do uh, with them right now is they're kind of sought after for just being astrology uh, astrology experts. So people that feel like they can predict the future doing it, they might come to them. 
they come to them for navigators and stuff, uh, su- stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah. But primarily, they're nomads that kind of end up um, end up in one end of the continent, and just some stick to their stick to themselves, work as a trader. Some they go about and do the good old pilgrim, you know, as you do. <laughs> but yeah, that's generally the defining enough. characteristic I've had for them. And I think I told you all before I had the idea that I wanted them to be from the Shadowfell, right? I think you did, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I kind of like that idea to duality of elves, and I thought, well, if they come from the Feywild, they should come from the Shadowfell, and I wanted it to also be something uh-huh. that I set aside from uh, uh, them and goblins, because goblins and them kind of feel that similar role, just purely yeah. from mm-hmm. a bandit sample. So I'm like, all right, let's make it to where there's a little more to them like that. All their magic and different variants they have, it's more kind of spawned from them having uh, more... A- more tomb of the shadow fell and just magic like that that's cool yeah mm-hmm. so that's pretty much how i do my variants at orcs like uh like kind of how I did the big bloaters i don't use them often but i've had it when they're in the campaign that they were just like purely just like right cursed back. by the shadow fell and that's how they work yeah oh that's pretty cool i i like i like oh hey, do we can wait for like the i i like a. I like trying to play with those orc variations and stuff. Give give them like a, it's like a. I know one that's kind of fun that I, I guess it's technically like an orc variant is like a, seeing like a, a Tanarook or something like that. That was, a, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a. I I know there was. <laughs> go ahead. I was going to say uh, I think my favorite item once I introduced was um, was the. What are they called? The ones that have the super long nails. They just look awesome. And I th- Oh, yes! Um, yeah, different... mm, I'm trying to remember which one you're talking about. I, um, I know of something, but I think that's neat that they're the clerics of the orcs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are... I think that's like a... That is the wife of a... Luthic. Or not on... Uh, oh, the, the wife of... I think. Oh, it is the Luthic oh, okay. is yeah, like the the hive mother sort of, mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. gives people magic powers, and she likes women because she is one of those things. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like women too. I can respect that. Me too. I don't don't that. orcs actually have like a her? Am I? I'm trying they're to. They're like... they're a patriarchy. They're oh, okay, okay. Generically, kind of like they're the Catholic warpath, but blatantly evil. <laughs> so they have. Similar values, but they're all twisted just enough to be like, ooh, uh, a lot more murder, a little more murder. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Oh, Mother Grumish, Mother of God. <laughs> yeah. Pray not. I, I pray to Grumsh. Fucking. Uh... But yeah, orcs. Orcs are pretty cool. They they have like good little uh, little fucking. Their lore. I'm not super. Well versed with it off the top of my head, but I, 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 do, yeah, I mean, everything we've covered is just about everything that's in the writing. Yeah, the I, only I mean, depth they have is religious depth. Their yeah, practices one beat. It's kind of it. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know why. Just the one Dritz book I read was just um, Dritz and his d- uh, dwarf friend. It was the Neverwinter book. Just sitting there, oh. just like uh, fuming. Just like we got peace of the orcs. We should have killed the orcs, Dritz. We should have killed the orcs, and Dritz like, yes, we should have. <laughs> yeah. no, just that for a few pages, and I'm just like, where's Jarl Axel? <laughs> we need somebody else here. Bring me Jarl Axel. At the end of the day, orcs are pretty cut and dry, or it's just like uh, you have a... Uh, like, they they are just like your your brutish kind of enemy, your, your big... Uh, your big bruiser type dude, um, and like yeah, you know I'll, I'll I'll throw out and say the main problem that I have with orcs <laughs> is that everything that they are and everything that they do is something that a fictional or real group of any type of people could do. Yeah. So aside from that, in uh, Faerun and baseline rule like lore and stuff. There's nothing interesting about an orc that's unique, except for maybe yeah. how they're big, they're strong, yeah. and I think yeah. they grow up really fast. That yeah. could be cool because that sounds fictional, 
like to have them like grow up really fast and then maybe live for 10 years or some shit mm -hmm. that alone would make orcs more interesting to me because it's like oh they have an urgent war path they're growing like mushrooms like crazy we have to put them out <laughs> here and now or this thing will just spread yeah. like wildfire yeah cause... but because they're so goddamn human I yeah, think I that's also why I really don't like when Mario, I know we had to talk about this before, of oh. just like them really recessing to tusks a lot more to where you could barely. Oh, yeah. Move. They just look like they, they start becoming a person. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're not orcs anymore. Like, it's like, oh, I guess we're, we're they talking about. Double down on the shit that makes them unique instead of just yeah. kind of stripping it and making them like, green. If anything, I, I'd like it if they had more of. Um, if they're kind of. It's meant to be more like this animalistic people or like these more like i guess kind of uh i guess now they're trying to go for like more of a nature connected thing or something like that or is it yeah, like they're trying to do like pseudo um not my what is the culture that persisted in in mexico earlier I'm thinking oh, Aborigine. Like Mesoamerican? Like, like yeah, a... Mesoamerican, a mix between that and Aborigine. Like, Dreamtime, apparently, a big Aboriginal um, hmm. belief system was heavily misconstrued. So the whole thing is kind of being torn apart right now. But it was an interesting oh, idea where there was this ancient reality where people who walked around at that time had so much power that they could, like, warp shit. Hmm. <laughs> um, Which is. But, interesting because oh, even <laughs> being in tune with nature so much oh, yeah, that it on. works back in tune with you is kind of uh -huh. the idea it's like they're going for but that's not, that's fucking druids yeah. mm -hmm. it's interesting because correct me if i'm wrong i always felt like as um if anything was inspired by aztecs it'd be like the yuan t like in a yeah the yuan t is very uh, mesoamerican oh uh, yeah just with the, uh, the ziggurat they're also like green being a very snake based society since well if anything that would be straight up like the the mexica the aztec fucking people where it's just like uh because that's like very much their they have like that i if anything i love that about the yuan t because it makes them really yeah. distinct it's like you have like the the like ritual killing kind of thing you having like the big uh pyramids kind of connected to them like those mesoamerican type pyramid yeah. things like uh, the ziggurat and stuff yeah the, the ziggurat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um uh, yeah it, it's it's cool it's a cool aesthetic and it is like i i guess i guess a thing that orcs kind of struggle with a little in D, &D specifically is yeah. having a bit more of a personality besides like you know orc you know you have lord of the rings and they have like you know orcs have like a a specific thing to them. Their there. life cycle is kind of the only interesting thing, but they are written just kind of like demons and people, yeah. just mm -hmm. a, a big brainless. It, it feels swarm. like you real. Yeah, it feels like the main thing that really makes them unique is the Lord of the Rings inspiration that created them. But yeah. then if you're wanting to go away from that and not make them just pure evil you gotta st uh, you pretty much gotta use forgotten realms lore just to really yeah. kind of flush them out since their god seemed to really what makes them unique in a forgotten realm setting this yeah, is usually I why oh go ahead oh i was just gonna say in the lord of the rings the world is not that diversely magical on a small scale like globally if you run around it's gonna be kind of close to just feudal europe yeah but mm -hmm. um so the orcs fit well there because they're all they're fantastical enough for a low magic world but when you thrust yeah. them into this insane shit that is like uh forgotten realms Faerun, even dark sun like yeah anything is crazy and they definitely fall by the wayside so what were you gonna say mario it, it, like for me like this is probably why i gravitate more towards like piggy orcs because there's like certain things that start to make more sense to me where it's like a uh, to me, it, for example, when I brought up like, oh, like the niche that the orc fits, the hobgoblin fits. So if I look at it in like my own setting, it's like, what is, what would I change between a hobgoblin and an orc? And usually the main thing that an orc gets that a, the hobgoblin wouldn't is like, okay, if they're like these piggy kind of animalistic guys, I'd probably give them better senses. Like they're probably better at like sniffing and tracking people out. I find yeah, it's finding truffles basically. Uh, I throw like powerful build on them because they're supposed to be like, yeah, they're like maybe like six foot, but so is so many fucking other like 
uh, creatures in this, but the difference is like even though these guys are medium, they're like punching way above their like like they're like way they're the little bigger. mac of giants. Almost. Yeah, they're the little yeah. mac kind of fucking uh, <laughs> like it's like a if anything, I like that idea of you could have this big scary monster that walks up to like a pissed off orc and the orc like it fucking surprises him and it turns out oh god oh he's way stronger than i thought he was oh shit <laughs> and, um, i i like that idea for them i like the that like kind of um playing into stuff like that i i like uh even like that that makes them way more I guess kind of scary when you like factor in like the other stuff of like aggression is the one little key thing that they have on their stat block and aggression is just like oh they can dash as a bonus action um which is they cool can... but yeah it's cool but, but it's not like don't the thing where if damage would drop them to zero they would go to one instead. that half orcs That's which i don't know why orcs, which is doesn't have. <laughs> so stupid that half orcs are technically stronger oh. than a full orc yeah, yeah. I, I want to throw into the ring the idea because mm -hmm. Mario has a really fucking cool idea for like a different way to spin them. I think mm -hmm. instead of having like short lived orcs, you could play them more into they are warmongers of all types. So uh -huh. giving you said pig and it set me off on that mm -hmm. kind of tumble of mm -hmm. oh, you could do like fat cat orcs oh. like, or, who are really good at creating war by cultural manipulation. Ooh. They can kind of rise to the top and they're That's really unique fun. and good at hiding in the background of situations, making sure all the cards and gambits, they're almost like a, a golden <laughs> cat for people who want to get rich until you get fucked over. To really because they, yeah. go off that as that, well, because I feel like if you're going to do pig orcs, you should also factor in the idea, hey, no one ta uh, gives enough credit to the fact pigs are like well, the second smartest animal out there. Yes. Or pigs are like yeah. also like, like it, another thing that factors into that that I think about is like the fact that the reason pigs are so fucking abundant is like people are just like yeah these things just fucking survive wherever I throw them so like <laughs> when like the potatoes of mammals yeah it's like when people when people are like colonizing in like the Americas they would just throw pigs like on islands and shit because they're like yeah in a couple years uh, they'll like populate here and we'll have a food source. Like next time somebody passes through here, and that's why you'll have like like th that's why like there's a whole fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and like the idea of that because pigs are just fucking monsters. Um, it's just this yeah. it kind of plays into that orc factor too, where it's just like oh, in that pigs pigs are so unique just naturally as mammals. Like yes. their skill set's yeah. so weird. If you just ripped that and made it like a an eight foot tall humanoid, bam. Yeah. That's all you Scary. need to do. That's, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. Oh my really, god, I don't want that. <laughs> another really unique thing you can factor in is my favorite detail about pigs is that one gene they have where if they're not domesticated, they literally turn into a boar like that quick. Oh, they like they go up. like feral like boars. Oh, yeah. Like, uh... yeah, like you'll see a pig that never have tusk in his life, but he spends like a week outside. He comes back just like absolutely jacked with tusks. Oh, just their know. genetics take like a fucking shift. Yeah. It's something in their genes that activates when they're put in a, a primal situation. Like it's really unique. You said that. And I pictured a pig with jeans for a second. <laughs> that, that sounds kind of awesome. They would something wear them like on all four legs. Yeah. Like, kind of <laughs> I'd like to it's imagine really a pig steps off. outside of his pen and just like, pulls a pair of jeans like out of the grass just pulls them up he's a full grown orc. have have you not you're read picture. animal farm <laughs> i'm picturing like you, you lose know animal farm? yeah i know, I know animal. animal farm that's even funnier to me of just like the orc remake of animal farm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that plays into like the fucking I'm, I'm just picturing these fucking fat orcs just like <laughs> like they're just like fucking arguing with each other <laughs> like, yeah. but they're wearing like human made pants that don't fit them so their legs are like too long they look like they're wearing children's clothes I just imagine doing like the cowboy extended walk four leg by two leg go boy <laughs> I was picturing the fucking, uh, you said, like, a pig gets lost, and, like, talking about the genes, I'm just picturing, like, y you lose a pig, a week later, it comes back to your door, it has, like, fucking sunglasses on, a leather jacket, and some That's fucking 401k. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, they find 
find their next uh, natural <laughs> habitat, American Eagle. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I work at uh, Bass Pro Sporting Goods now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, you really took off. Yep. Yeah, I just yeah, got that my, was orcs. I just got, <laughs> I just got my truck lifted. Me and the boys are going to take it down to the riverbed and raid the local village down there. I, I think it's going to go pretty good. Oh yeah, we're raiding I'm, now. That'd be oh, awesome yeah. too. Just like redneck hillbilly orcs. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, go around in four wheelers and go mudding. <laughs> I mean, oh, that kind of oh. makes me think of um. Oh fuck. Because that's a culture I, you can make fun of. It's just yeah. drunk white people. <laughs> That'd people be easy. People do it anyways. To, uh, I Parody guess. it. I'm not getting trouble. I would, I would also say this. It kind of oh, like uh, we're we're going to talk about like the 40k or like not even just 40k because like even fantasy orcs or like Warhammer fantasy type orcs. Those are such fun <laughs> orcs. Yeah, because they have like uh, I I like something. I, I guess the uniqueness one looking at the 40k ones is the just the the thing. The yeah, they believe real hard in something, and it actually starts to become true. And the fun, the fun thing with it that makes them not just ridiculously overpowered is they don't know that they can do that. And so, if they find out they can do it, it probably wouldn't work. But it's all over. <laughs> and it's like it's like other shit. Like uh, there, there's like weird rules to how they how they do stuff. Because at the end, orcs. Orcs. The best way to describe like 40k orcs is just like they're they're really giant little 12 year olds that are having the best fucking time. They love fighting, <laughs> and they they like it's like if they they're drop onto a planet, because it makes them go faster. <laughs> they're it's raging like the idea a cosmic of... nerf war. Yes, because <laughs> it's like it's a thing of if they're fight if they drop onto a planet or something and they're fighting like dudes that just have like uh no guns or they're just using spears and stuff the orcs will stop using guns and they'll also start using spears because it's like oh well that, if that's what they're using we're, we're using this yeah. it's it's like fair <laughs> kind of... <laughs> that it's... makes them hyper adaptive in kind of a scary way yes oh yeah they're they're meant to be like uh because the the whole funny idea is like uh orcs in 40k were made uh, they were known as the crocs and uh they were like these super giant mega soldiers um and the issue was the people that made them lost the war and basically the orcs were just left behind and they slowly degraded over time and they became like the current day orcs and that's like a thing of like oh in 40k um, certain orcs start to get like bigger and stronger and shit over a period of time, and they start getting very close to becoming back like, like the original crocs that they were oh, before. Um, but uh, uh, it's it's a uh, yeah yeah. I didn't know that. All was described to me is like, if you defeat an orc ship and a mechanic goes in there to salvage it for parts, they're going to find oh, yeah. three. <laughs> they're going to find three <laughs> screws duct taped together that are floating in the air, somehow making an engine work. <laughs> like and, it's like I think there was there, uh, orcs would genuinely have like a cat duct taped to a piece of toast with butter <laughs> on it yeah. as the functional space engine. <laughs> they would like, have three <laughs> hamsters just on a wheel, and they believe that's powering their entire engine, kids next door style. It's like it's like oh, the yeah. thing of a. I know that there's a couple stories because I, I haven't really read any of the books, but there's been like some stuff that I've heard snippets of where it's just like, oh, there is a point where. The orc ships are also just ramshackled, kind of put together stuff. So there's a point where, on inspection, people are like, "There shouldn't be air in here. This is not airtight. This this shouldn't like they shouldn't be able to breathe in here." But we it's just because open they to go pee ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, it's like it's like they they just they just think that it works, so it does. Or it's just like there's a point where somebody's. Somebody's using like an orc weapon or somebody's trying to like pilot an orc ship and it's just a thing of like, oh fuck, it's starting to like fall apart because we killed the orcs. It doesn't work anymore. It's yeah. fucking... <laughs> there's like, there's a bunch of goofy shit with that where it's like uh, even, there's there's an extent to the lore where it's thought that the one of the reasons that the emperor is still like alive to an extent is because he is it's like opposite yes, it's, effect it's like is the it? thing of 
<laughs> is that based on the idea that Man everyone thought Mandela died and he didn't? Is that actually? Um, I don't think so. Let me. I, I think. Um. They, yeah, the Mandela effect is originally people believe a jo a he died in prison instead of like getting out of prison and yeah. becoming the a leader of South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exactly it. It's the inverse. Oh. Of oh. Okay, okay. Where they're just like, yeah, he didn't die. And they're like, no, he died in 1980. And they're like, no. Well, it's like, and they go back and he's fine. Like, he's like, I did die, but I'm back. <laughs> yeah. among, like the idea behind it is just like they're probably fueling him to an extent because it's like, yeah, exactly. It's this thing of he's he is dead and they know that he's probably like dead or to, like it's like they know what they hear from like the the like general stuff that they'll they'll pass by. But in their head, they're like, man, these humans are pretty tough. In their culture, the the guy that's above everybody, he's the biggest and the strongest. So he's like, these guys are pretty fucking tough. Whoever <laughs> this fucking emperor guy is, he must be fucking huge. He must be super fucking strong. <laughs> he must be like... They don't make the emperor stronger, do they? <laughs> yeah, that's basically what's happening. Because oh, there's, no. There's like they make their own emperor. That's cool. Because th that plays also into their own ideals to stuff too because at the end of the day all these guys want is a really good fight so sometimes they'll like they'll start to believe it like there's even to a, a point freaking, there's like a whole this, like, like, level, level out androids. the level cap yeah yeah <laughs> it's like we're like if you're weak as fuck and they're like me want better fight you level up just to die to them <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Because there's a, there's a fucking, uh, there's like two stories that I think of, or it's like, uh, there's, there's the one of, uh, there's this fucking thing of, there was a specific, I think he was an inquisitor or what the hell was he? I forget. It, basically, there was a human guy who, uh, fucking hated orcs and he basically got like an arm cut off, uh, and he like, when he lost his arm, he took an orc's arm and he put it onto himself and the orcs have like these like like weird like mechanical arms sometimes or like mechanical bits to replace certain limbs and so he has this big freaky orc limb and the orc started to respect this guy and it became this thing where it's like this guy started becoming like way more powerful because the orcs are like dude this guy's kind of scary <laughs> and so he's like he's like a boogeyman to them <laughs> and uh but there's a point where he got oh, yeah. fucked up yeah, there's a point where he got, like, super fucked up, and the orcs end up helping them, and they're like, why did you help me? And he goes, well, you're really fun to fight, dude, so I hope you get better anyways. I'll see you later. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Homies for life? And he's like, yeah. you just stabbed me through the heart six times, and they're like, you live. That's... Me want fight. That... I like you. I hate you're telling this epic story and all I'm imagining is the orcs m uh, getting in that crappy Titanic submersible and actually making it work. They'd be there with their fucking like little PlayStation controller <laughs> zooming around. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and they make it to the Titanic and you're like, no. Nah. It's like it's, um, the Titanic wasn't even in that region and they made it to it. <laughs> <laughs> they fabricated the Titanic into being there. They teleported to it. <laughs> they get no, into it. The whole thing just starts moving over. The fucking... <laughs> they bring this. They bring the sub to it. Fly it into the cockpit of um cockpit of the a ship. They end up piloting the Titanic out of the ocean and just drive it to James Cameron's house. <laughs> I think. Drive I think another. Game. Another funny story with like a uh, 40k orcs was just a. Uh, there's like a thing called the Eye of Terror. That's like a, a fucking little space that goes into that, uh, what the fuck, the warp. And uh, there was like a band of orcs that fought the daemons um, in the 40k universe. And they were like, damn, these guys are pretty strong. I want to fight more of them. <laughs> and so they were like, how the fuck do we fight them? So they found out, oh, if we go through there, we get, like, the warp is basically hell in the 40k universe. So it's just like, oh, if we go through there, we could go straight to hell and we could just fight them. <laughs> and so there's this point where that place is, like, being overlooked by other people because it's a super dangerous place. And all of a sudden they're like, guys, there's, like, a band of orcs that's, like, plowing through. And they're like, what the fuck? Why? And they're like, 
I think they want to go in there. <laughs> so they're like, <laughs> all right, fuck it, let them go in. So they go in, and it's just this stupid thing where, like, a, there's, like, a war deity that ends up, like, finding them, and he's like, these guys are kind of cool, I like them. <laughs> so, so they end up, like, throwing them in a fucking arena, and apparently there's just, like, the idea is, like, canonically... There's just one orc that every day he just fights demons all day, and he's just getting stronger and bigger as, as the years go on. <laughs> just, so he's just like this. Super orc. Oh my god! <laughs> Orcs are fucking funny. They're, they're, they're awesome. awesome. <laughs> they are. So, and we're getting to the point where it's time. What are our rankings but, on the orcs, my dudes? Uh, since I, I'm generally the skeptic who gives low scores. <laughs> I say ba baseline orcs definitely get like a two, maybe. Uh, They're pretty fucking low. But you can stretch the potential of an orc in any random direction, just like weigh in on one heavy aspect of them. You can easily get them to a three or a four, but I don't think a basic orc is awesome enough to like be yeah. a full five. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd also give them like a three. Mm -hmm. Like just base orc, because... I guess the nice thing is they're so plain it's easy to add stuff, but it's still just like, you know, you can add stuff to anything. So that's not necessarily like a, like a, I think it's well, like. To <laughs> me, when I say you can add stuff to them, I'm going off of like, okay, this, these are the parameters that you're given. Now mm -hmm. run with those. So when it comes to a monster that gives you good parameters, I would say the orcs can stretch to a three or a four. Yeah, but... yeah. Yeah. I'd, um, yeah. I'm honestly not with, with y'all, so I'd say my overall answer is a two, but there <laughs> is yeah. two kinds of orcs that are an exception. Mm -hmm. That is the 40k orcs. They're a five. Oh, yeah. I love them. They get, they get a five. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, those would be a five for me, too. Yeah, so I, yeah, I would say five. Yeah, I can't even say four. That's just a great idea I've never heard before. Yeah, like, we're, but talking D&D, &D, my answer is two, but the other orcs that I give a full out five out of five, Shadow of War orcs are um, absolutely amazing. I love them so much. Because. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 no, I, for the, sure. Which is really carried by the nemesis system and the whole idea how you kill your enemy, they can get resistant to it and come back stronger. That's just such a cool idea in general. So I feel like it's really care about a nemesis system. So Which generally is proprietary. Yeah. I gotta say a two out of five, but in those two circumstances, I'm off of orcs. I love them. Yeah. But yeah. And the orc meister. Did Mario, did you give your answer? Yeah, I was saying for me, I uh, oh, three yeah. just because just because a uh, basic basic like a uh, orcs i would say three out of just the general average they're usable like they're pretty they, they're malleable they're lazy, they serve a great function of just like oh yeah. bam, like it's them. like you're like if, okay if, we if, have reason to yeah it makes me think of a not to go too much on a tangent but it makes me think of like the matt colville guy he has like this there's a phrase that i took from him which was basically orcs attack and it's like if your players are ever stumped and you need to kind of get them like it's like when there's a I lull in your up. session That's fair. and you need to have like yeah you there's, need to have like some great in between because like i said earlier if you throw orcs at a party i don't think anyone's ever going to question well there's orcs here now yeah. i think everyone's going to be like, yeah sure. it's like oh shit orcs <laughs> yeah like yeah. kill all orcs is a whole game i think yeah because it's not like you're throwing in a demon or a devil that's going to throw off the whole thing. And, Whoa, there's demons and devils here now. What What is the long-term repercussions of this? What does this mean? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, orcs. Let's mm. let's take care of that. Well, that's, yeah. That is a problem by definition. It's uh, all orcs must die. I got yeah. that wrong. There's 30 to 50 okay. wild orcs in my yard. I must destroy them with an AK-47. I do that every Tuesday. Yeah, country living's kind of rough like that, man. They they keep adapting yeah. to bullets. It's crazy. Orcs gotta... and blackberries. That's what I got to deal with. I got to trim them both down all the fucking time. Damn. It's crazy. The great invasive species of rural America. Mm -hmm. all, right. <laughs> all these feral orcs. <laughs> yeah, so I just like it just became like just a genetic step up where a, um, a pig gets wild and then it's already a feral hog. It's like, how much wilder can I get? And then he's uh, 
wearing Blink blue jeans eye. down by the riverbed raiding the local gnome <laughs> camps, and it's like, mm -hmm. well, how much further like we got? That, 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 has, that, that idea of going with like a wilder kind of orc, I would give that one a four. <laughs> Just like an animalistic proto-human, almost like yeah. the falls again. Yes! Uh, I would say a mid, uh, between three and a four. Chip. Yeah, like a three point five. Hmm. It's, it's a fun one. It's it it adds something. Adds a little more personality to it. Um, yeah. I feel like them kind of works. You can just find it at a Jelly Roll concert, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love Jelly Roll. But... A lot of places you can. <laughs> but man, when I walk there, I just see swollen heads. <laughs> well, as always, that was fun. We did this ten times now. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Oh, God. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's do it ten more times. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, call it quits. 